Well, happy Tuesday to you. We're glad you are back with us and glad you're continuing our discussion on the parable of the sower. Now, as you know, I'm a city boy. I don't know a whole lot about farming, but here's what I do know. Farming depends a lot on dirt. What kind of dirt? What's going on in the dirt? What the dirt needs to be successful in supporting the plants? And the farmers that I know, and I've known several, a lot of my family are farmers, spend a lot of time talking about dirt. Is it red clay? Is it sandy soil? How does it drain? Uh, what is the what uh, is the pH? So, do I need to add anything to change the pH? Uh, is this land good for growing cotton? Is this land good for growing soybean? Is this land good for growing peanuts, uh, corn? There are lots of things you can grow, but not every type of soil supports what you may want to grow. <clears throat> Not only that, but you have to keep rotating your crops so that you don't pull all of the same nutrients out of the ground. And then you have to use fertilizer. You have to put back what you've taken out of the soil. So Jesus talks about the farmer who's planting seed in, in the soil, and he talks about the quality of the dirt. There's shallow dirt with rocks under it. You know, all the slave, what they call the slave fences around here, slave walls, uh, happened when uh, they started plowing some of this land and there were all of these slabs of rock underneath the dirt, just very shallow. So they would have to dig those rocks up and that's how they made the slave walls. Um, then if you talk more recently about, they'll talk to you about the pH of the soil, how the climate has affected it, and how the changes have all of that. And they'll tell you what they have to do. In fact, you can take your soil in to experts who will tell you what you need to do to your dirt so that it will grow the crops that you want it to grow. So here's the question today. What are you doing to the soil of your life so that you are ready to receive and support the growth of the seeds that Jesus is planting in you. Are you good soil? Do you support the growth of God's word in your life? Or are you soil that needs a little work? Do you need some of the weeds removed? Do you need some rocks taken out? You know, those things you put in your life that you're not ever going to change, grudges, uh, hate, uh, unforgiveness, that kind of stuff. Um, what kind of things you need to pull out of your field so there's, there's a better chance the crop will grow? Jesus described four types of soil. All of these soils are in the same field. I mean, the sower did not throw some of his seed, get in the car, drive down the road, throw some more seed. All of those things were in his walking radius. They're all right there. All of these kinds of soil are in our own heart. So what is it you have to do? What do you have to deal with so that your heart is more ready to receive God's word when it's sown into your life? What kind of work do you have to do in your dirt so that you got good dirt? I'll give you 60 seconds. Get thinking on that one, and I'll see you tomorrow.